Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome. If you're new here, my name is Kiana. I make lifestyle vlogs. I am a new mom. I just had a baby two and a half months ago. Her name is Layla. So I wanted to make a newborn favorites, essentials, newborn must-haves video. Everything that we used from the minute we brought her home up until now. Um, everything that I use every day. A lot of these things that we use that I'm gonna mention, I, like I said, have been using since day one. These are things that have worked for us and my family and my baby, every baby is different. So yeah, we'll just get into it. Okay, if you see me looking down or at my phone, it's because I have a note of things that I wrote down so I don't forget anything. For the most part, I pretty much have everything that we've been using. It's not in any kind of order specifically. Um, I'm just gonna be like saying them as I go. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Kikaru Peanut Changer. That's her changing pad basically. It is, I'll insert a clip or a photo of it up here but it's a kind of like a silicone type material it's very easy to wipe if you have any accidents or anything like that um i love it she loves it she loves getting her diaper changed she's always so smiley and it's comfortable for her the shape of it it's kind of like indented if that makes sense um, so it has the edges raised so she can't like roll off of it easy but yeah i love it the next thing I want to talk about is the Snuggle Me pillow. Um, it's right back there. It's like the moon-shaped pillow. It wraps around me, and then whenever I'm feeding her, it's like rest. I can rest my arm on it, so I'm not like straining or hurting or cramping my arm as I'm feeding her. So that's really nice, and it works for breastfeeding and for bottle feeding. It helps as well. The next thing I want to talk about is the Dr. Brown bottles. Those are the bottles that we currently use um, specifically. I don't know if they have different ones, but the anti-colic ones that have the green little tube inside of them. In the very, very beginning, we were using Tommy Tippy bottles. They were like short, little newborn size bottles. But we noticed that she was getting very gassy and she was getting really uncomfortable and she was having trouble with that, taking in a lot of air. I heard really good things about the Dr. Brown bottles, so we decided to try those and they were a game changer. It was literally like night and day from like the gas she was getting and she's so much better now. She loves the bottles. We love the bottles. It makes things so much easier now, so I'm thankful for that. Love those bottles. The next thing we have is a bouncer. So I've seen a lot of people talk about the Baby Bjorn bouncer. That bouncer is great, I'm sure, but it's like $200. The bouncer that we have is the Baby Delight Bouncer. It's pretty much the same exact thing. It has a bar over with like dangling little things that she can look at. She loves that bouncer. We can keep her enter entertained in it for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes if we need to do something, if we're eating lunch, whatever. She loves the bouncer. The next thing I want to mention is the Fisher Price play mat. Um, it's like the green, red, really vibrant color play mat with the dangly little toys and then the piano um, so they can kick. She loves that toy so much. It is the cutest thing. It's so fun to watch her play on that. She can kick her feet because she kicks so much already. I don't know if you can hear her. She's in the background playing, but um, she can kick her feet and it lights up and it plays music. You will quickly learn the songs to that. It's like a popular thing. Um, I've seen a bunch of TikToks and reels of like the, so the soundtrack of the song and everyone's like singing it. It gets stuck in my head constantly. We got another playmat on our registry. It was like a cute aesthetic one. She used that one for a while until we got the new one, but this one I can just tell she loves so much more. She gets so excited, she laughs and she like smiles and kicks and she rolled over for the first time last night. So. That's crazy. I thought they weren't supposed to roll over until like four months, but she loves that play mat. Next, I want to talk about zipper footies, zipper sleepers. These are a game changer. Everyone told me. I've seen it everywhere. Get onesies that have zippers. They will literally save your life, change your life. They are the best thing ever invented. Specifically the double zippers, those are amazing too, but even just a single zipper will do. It's so much easier getting them in and out, doing a quick changing, especially if they're sleeping. It just makes the job done a lot faster. 
I love the ones from Cloud Islands. You can get those at Target. The material of those are just a lot, they're like a thinner material but stretchy. She grew out of her newborn footies very quickly because she's long. She's grown two inches already since she's been born so the feet on the other ones don't really fit but the Cloud Island ones, those fit her because they're stretchy. Zipper footies are a game changer and I highly, highly, highly recommend those. Next on my list is the Angel Care Bath. Um, I'll insert a picture of it here, but she loves this bath as well. Um, it has like holes in it, so we just put it in the tub and then we sit her in it. She loves bath time too, which I'm so thankful for because I know a lot of babies hate bath time, um, but she loves it. We also have the Freedom Mom. It looks like a pitcher, but it has holes on one side so that the when you're pouring it, it like sprinkles out. So it's like a lighter water pour than just full on. We love that too and she loves that like when we're washing her hair we just sprinkle it like it just she loves it. The next thing is a stroller fan. So I got it on Amazon for my registry. Um, it's just a fan. Okay I just went to get it. Um, it was in the car. It's all bent out of shape but this fan specifically you can use it for the stroller but also Layla she's kind of a hot baby so we use this in the car um, in the car seat I'll put it like at her feet and you can move this all types of ways you can like curl it around a bar you can do it straight so that's what I love about this and it also has it has a fan that has three settings and it also has a light to it that has different settings so that's cool I use it for myself if I'm hot if I'm at home like there's just so many uses to this and you could literally put it anywhere so love this thing highly recommend on Amazon and everything that I mention will be linked in its own I'll link everything individually and also my storefront will be linked at the end as well the next thing that I wanted to talk about is muslin burp cloths these things are amazing it's rolled up right now I think you can get some on Amazon that come in a pack of 10 so I got two of those um, so I have like 20 maybe more but these are the best things ever the muslin material absorbs things so perfectly um uses as bibs we use them as burp cloths obviously sometimes if she has a blowout i will put this underneath her before i set her down to change her um just in case it gets everywhere i can just toss this in the laundry it's an easy fix instead of having to wipe the whole thing down I just love these. You can never have too many burp cloths, especially in the newborn phase or just in general. Toddlers are messy. They drool all the time. They spit up. They poop all the time. So these are the best things ever. The next thing that I want to talk about is this leather changing mat. This we keep in her diaper bag um, for on the go. So this is just a changing mat like this. It's, it's leather, so it's wipeable. Um, whenever she has blowouts it's super convenient anytime I go anywhere to a friend's house in the car I've changed her so many places with this thing and it's amazing it was like 20 bucks on Amazon um, super convenient easy to wipe and it's comfortable for her as well okay so next I have written down contrast anything so contrast cards contrast toys she loves that so much my best friend got her this um, you can put this on the stroller, you can put this on the car seat. We keep it on the car seat. Sometimes I put it on her bouncer, the bar on the bouncer. She loves this so much. Um, she'll be laughing at it. It has like a little rattle. I think the black and white really like stimulates her vision and she just like, she'll kick and she'll like laugh. Like she just loves the thing so much. This has been a lifesaver because she used to cry a lot in her car seat. And then once we started using this, and then combined with the fan to make sure she's comfortable. Like it's been a game changer. She hasn't cried in the car seat in so long. So it's all trial and error. Like it's all, it's all just a learning process. You're learning what works for your baby. Because like I said, everybody is different. Every baby's different and they like different things. But this thing is the best. And to go with that, this also sometimes i put it in her bassinet if she's laying on it or i'll just like play with her with this myself um, but there's so many different little contrast toys that she can look at um, and there's two sides so it has these little things that you could hang it on the crib if they're older and you want to put this on their crib but she's not in her crib yet so we have it but 
She loves this thing also. Anything contrast, like I said, she loves. The next thing that I want to talk about is our stroller. We have the Nuna Mix, I believe that's what it's called. Um, it was pretty expensive, but it comes with a car seat adapter. So in the very, very, very beginning, we use that. So our first walk we use in the car seat, but it also, the seat has different settings. So it can sit up like this, but it can also go back and then it lays completely flat. So we love that instead of getting the like bassinet attachment, it lays completely flat. You can, you can, it has like little handles on the side to where you can either have them face you or face the outside for whenever she gets older. Um, so we're going to be using that probably till she's like three or four. It's going to last us a long time. She loves it. Um, we go on walks a lot. She loves going on a walk. It like puts her to sleep sometimes. We've gone to Epcot with it. Um, it's the best. The tires are amazing on it. It has like a little undercarriage, which is perfect for diaper bags, any other storage. Even if you don't have the Nuna specifically, I definitely recommend getting a stroller that either has the bassinet attachment with it or something that lays flat because it's just more comfortable for the baby. Next, I want to talk about our hatch machine. We love our hatch machine. We use it every single night with the red light and the white noise. It has different noise effects that you can do and it has different light colors that you can use as well. Um, that's just what we use right now. It's perfect because if we get up in the middle of the night, it's we don't have to turn on a light or it's not too bright with the red light. So we love it. Um, it's very soothing sound to put us to sleep. They have other sounds too, like rain. Uh, they have other, they have other ones too, but I just forgot what it was, but we love our hatch machine. Oh, next is the car camera. We, I put this on my registry. I was just, it was just one of the things that I happened to see. It just came up while I was making my registry and it had really good reviews on Amazon. Basically you attach it to the seat, the headrest of the car, the back seat. And it points directly right at the car seat so you can see them perfectly and it has the monitor. I can see her in real time. I don't have to turn around. I just see her right there. So we love that. The next thing is the baby monitor. So right now, since she's not in her crib, we are using one that doesn't require um, Wi-Fi. I don't know if we're going to get one eventually, but we might just stick with the one that we have. I don't know. But this is the Hello Baby. It's on Amazon. It comes with this monitor like this and then a camera. You can buy an additional camera as well, but you literally just plug it into the wall and then you can hear too. You can talk into the microphone. These arrows, you can move the camera around, but we love this thing so much. I use it constantly. Even if I'm just in the kitchen and she's laying on the couch or on in her bassinet or whatever, we put the camera there and I can see her ex exactly what she's doing. If she's in the bouncer, like you can just move the camera wherever because all you have to do is plug it in, have it sit on a flat surface and then you can see her wherever. So we love this thing so much. It has night vision as well. So that's what I love about it. Um, so if it's dark, you can use it. In the daytime, you can use it. So we definitely love this thing. Next on my list is the nose picker slash sucker. So we have this, this thing they give you in the hospital along with this Oogie Bear Bright. So this comes with two little like pickers. I don't know if you can see it. They have different sizes and one is like more open than the other one. So basically you just put this on top of this little stick part and then it has a light so you can get in there and you can see what you're doing to pick their little boogers out so this is a game changer because obviously like their nose is so tiny that a q-tip doesn't fit in it nothing fits in it and this thing you can't really pick anything with this it just like sucks it up if it's like if, if they have a runny nose so this helps too for that but also this picker thing is a game changer. She gets little like boogies all the time and sometimes I can tell that she's like congested or that she has like something in there and so I love that so much. This is the same brand, I believe. This is Boogie Mist, so this is like a nasal spray. So this basically moisturizes their nose if they have congestion and then you get it a little wet and then you suck it with this, so. The next thing I have on here is Vaseline or baby or baby Aquaphor. First or second week of bringing her home, 
we had used some baby wipes that had a fragrance to them and she has sensitive skin so she got a little bit of a rash on her bottom area aquaphor and vaseline are like the best things for that um you just put i just use a q-tip and put like a little bit around like her her butt area um and the redness goes away in like literally one or two days also you can use that for other things like dry skin and stuff like that so next thing i have is a baby thermometer so this is one that we got on amazon it had really good reviews it's a digital one you can use it on adults and babies so it has different modes up here and it'll have a baby a baby's head for like the baby and then it has an adult head and then it has this comes off so you can do like their ear it's nice to have this on hand right away just in case something happens also it came in handy when we got her shots at two months um, we were on the lookout for a fever so it's nice to just have this ready for whenever you do need it next mylicon and gripe water those two things have literally been lifesavers for us like i said in the beginning layla got a lot of gas because of the bottle she was using and she was just getting a lot of air and even now sometimes she'll still get a little bit gassy sometimes or she has hiccups um mylicon and gripe water are pretty much the same thing they are supposed to help with that they help with like fussiness gas bloating any like uncomfort so if she's like really fussy and we give that to her it really really helps so can't go without that if you're gonna do one i would say mylocon mylocon works the most for us we've used gripe water a couple times but we just notice more of a difference in the mylocon okay next we have a baby brush set so this is one of them we got it on amazon it came in a pack of three it has like a comb another brush with like different different things and then this one this is the one we used the most right now um ever since day one whenever we gave her her first bath the bristles are super super soft on this so we just like rubbed the shampoo in her hair and it like massages and gently exfoliates her scalp so we still use this to this day even dry like we'll brush her hair she has a lot of hair she's had a lot of hair since day one so we love this and she loves it she loves getting her hair brushed i think she likes how it feels so yeah we just got this on amazon oh baby oil baby oil is a good one um our pediatrician told us that she she has sensitive skin but she also had a little bit of like baby eczema so she had like her feet were very dry and kind of flaky and she had little parts of like the in, the inner arm was very like dry and flaky so we used baby oil and also we used a vino baby so this is it says eczema therapy it's a very moisturizing um, lotion to help with very dry skin and it doesn't have any fragrance or anything it's really good for sensitive skin also baby oil can really help with cradle cap um, before you give them a bath you just put some baby oil on their scalp and then the baby brushes to help exfoliate and then you wash it out and then you shampoo it and you continue to exfoliate and that helps a lot with cradle cap also with the baby oil since she had dry skin before we would give her a bath uh, we would put baby oil all over her uh, especially in the dry areas and that would help like with the moisture keep that in and then wash it off in her bath and then follow it up after her bath with the lotion and her skin is completely different now it's like she still has sensitive skin but she doesn't have like the dry flaky skin like she did before next is drawer organizers it's not something that you absolutely need it's just one of those things that makes your life a lot easier in her drawers and her dresser i have everything organized also you'll be able to see in my nursery tour i showed how everything was organized i'll link that video below as well it's just nice and easy to get things whenever i'm in a rush or just in general it's easy access for everything diapers are right there wipes are right there burp cloths are right there same thing for the other drawer. I can easily access pacifiers or the thermometer if I need it or her bows or anything that I need. It's helpful to have those organizers to just separate them so they have their own spot and it's not just scattered everywhere or like I have to be digging through the drawer to find stuff. Like I said, that's not something you absolutely need, but it definitely makes your life easier. Next thing is baby carrier. Um, that's up to you on which baby carrier you want to get. We have been using, I believe it's called the In Infantino. I think that's the brand. I'm not sure. I'll link it and I'll put a picture as well. Um, we use that in the very, very, very beginning. She was too small. 
because you have to be at least eight pounds. Um, so she was really, really small in the first two weeks. But after like the third or fourth week, we've been using that all the time. And she loves it. She loves to be held. So it's not one of the soft ones. It's one of the like clip ones. The front flap has a button so that when she gets older and bigger, I can flap it over so she'll be able to see whenever we do the face forward one. But I love it. Um, we use it anytime we go to the store. Instead of bringing the stroller in, it's a lot easier for me to carry her or if I need to do anything around the house. She loves being in it. We go on walks in it and she just like falls asleep. Don't mind her, she's yelling in the background. The next thing I have on here is socks. So definitely I would recommend getting at least, honestly all you need is one pack of socks or like two pairs of socks to just like switch through. She wears a lot of newborn footies in the beginning um, and even now she wears them to go to sleep. But as she gets older, because she won't really wear shoes, sometimes I have her in like either short sleeve outfits or body suits. It's good to just have something on their feet um, so their little feet aren't cold. Okay, the next thing I have is a bottle drying rack. Just have it, the little rack on the side of our sink and then every time we wash the bottles, we it has little sticks that stick out so it's easy to, to hang all the bottles and the little parts. The Dr. Brown's bottles comes with like three different parts, four different parts per bottle. So it's very helpful to have the rack right next to it. So then everything is just easily accessible whenever I go to sterilize it, then I just like literally grab it. This is another thing that's not something you absolutely need, but it just like makes your life easier. And the last thing I have is the baby nail file. So I have it right here because I was filing her nails this morning. It comes in different colors. I got a pink one. Basically it has different attachments. This one is the zero to three month. That's the one I have on it now, but it has adult and it goes all the way up to 12 month for the little file parts. And then it goes in here and then it's easy to store away. Baby's nails grow so, so, so fast. And I don't like to have mittens on her all the time because it's good to let their hands free and let them feel and all of that stuff since they're learning. Usually I only put mittens on her like at night, but she scratches her face a lot and she loves to have her hands in her face. This isn't essential because baby's nails grow so, so, so fast and they get really sharp. So yeah, I actually need to finish filing them tonight because she only let me do one hand. But that's gonna be everything for my newborn essentials. Like I said, these are things that I use every day things that have made my life easier, things that the baby loves. And I'll continue to do these kinds of videos as she gets older, because I know things will change. So if you want to see more videos, then make sure you like and subscribe. That would really help me out. I'm like 400 away from a thousand subscribers. So please subscribe. I would love you forever. I still have the nail file in my hand. <laughs> but yeah, please subscribe. That would mean so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.